Have you ever imagined a robot exploring space? Not just any robot, but one that looks and moves a bit like us? That's exactly what NASA's doing with Valkyrie. Valkyrie isn't your everyday robot. It's huge, standing 1.8 meters tall. That's like the height of your fridge plus a bit more. And it weighs 125 kilograms, about as much as two big guys together. The coolest part? Valkyrie has this incredible hand developed by Psionic. It's so advanced that it could make characters from your favorite sci-fi movies feel a bit old-fashioned. But Valkyrie isn't just for showing off. NASA has some serious plans. Think about it. A robot working all alone on the moon, or even somewhere deeper in space. That's like something out of a dream, right? But it's going to happen soon. Now Valkyrie isn't just a look-alike of humans. It's built to match our strength and precision, too. Picture something as tall as a basketball player and as heavy as your family's big couch. Valkyrie is named after those legendary female warriors from ancient Norse myths. And believe me, it's just as powerful and capable as its name suggests. Valkyrie lives at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where it's being trained for some really important stuff. It's learning to work in tough spots, like places hit by natural disasters. In those kinds of situations, being accurate and reliable is super crucial. While Valkyrie is getting all skilled up here on Earth, NASA's thinking big, like outer space big. Why humanoid robots, you might wonder? Well, it's because they work in ways similar to us. With a torso, a head, two arms, and two legs, these robots are made to use the same tools we do. But here's the thing, they don't need to eat or sleep. Imagine a future where these humanoid robots are out there in space, doing things we humans can't. It's like having a super smart space buddy that's always ready to go. Valkyrie is learning and getting ready for some out-of-this-world adventures. We're talking about a robot that's not just built to survive in space, but to thrive there, doing things that are currently just a dream. Sean Azimi, who leads the Dexterous Robotics team at NASA, says that humanoid robots like Valkyrie are destined for more than just looking like humans. In space, Valkyrie could do things that are way too dangerous for astronauts. Imagine it out there, cleaning solar panels or fixing stuff on spacecraft, floating in space. Sounds like a scene from a sci-fi film, doesn't it? But this could actually be what happens in the future, helping astronauts to focus more on exploring and discovering new things. Now here's something cool. Valkyrie has gone on a trip to Australia. It's set up shop in Western Australia, working with Woodside Energy in Perth. And this is no holiday. Valkyrie is there for some important work. Valkyrie, with all its robotic skills, is there to take care of business at Woodside Energy's remote and uncrewed offshore facilities. It's like having a super smart, always reliable robot making sure everything is working perfectly and safely. The aim here is to make things safer, not just for the people working there, but also for the environment. But remember, NASA didn't build Valkyrie just to work in the energy sector. They're using this opportunity to test and show off what Valkyrie can do. This is a peek into a future where advanced robots help us reach places and do things that we never thought possible, both here on Earth and out in space. It's all about stretching the limits of what we can do, exploring new frontiers in a way we've never done before. Woodside Energy isn't also just playing host to Valkyrie for fun. They're a key player in this mission, giving NASA really important data and feedback. NASA is soaking up every bit of this experience to speed up the development of robotic technology. This whole operation of using robots in electric sector is about changing how we use technology in our everyday lives and out in the vast reaches of space. NASA says the things they learn from Valkyrie's time in Australia could be super important for the Artemis missions. You know, those big plans to send people back to the moon. And we all know everything's tough and risky on the moon. That's the challenge for NASA's Artemis missions, which aim to set up long-term sites and homes on the moon. And who's perfect for helping out in these difficult and dangerous conditions? Valkyrie, of course. But here's the even cooler part. NASA isn't just thinking about using robots as helpers. They're planning to have robots, controlled by people back on Earth, take charge on the moon and even Mars. So, it would be like someone on Earth guiding these robots to check and fix important stuff via a VR system. It's like having a remote control for another planet, with Valkyrie and its friends as the ultimate space vehicles. This whole thing isn't just about exploring, it's about surviving and living sustainably in space. We're talking about using resources from the Moon and Mars to make new stuff, so astronauts can really live off the land. Now, back to Valkyrie's current gig with Woodside. The information NASA gets from this is super valuable, 
It's like a practice run for what Valkyrie will do in space, giving NASA ideas on how to use advanced robots in similar conditions on Earth. What they learn from working at Woodside will help design robots tough enough for space, dealing with everything from moon dust to storms on Mars. And regarding the big deal with NASA's Valkyrie robot, it's not just about doing a couple of moonwalks or flying by Mars. NASA's thinking way bigger. They're taking a huge visionary step towards setting up a permanent home for humans on the moon, and maybe one day, even on Mars. Valkyrie is at the forefront of this adventure, leading the way into a brand new chapter of space exploration. Picture this, a future where robots and astronauts work together to build bases on the moon. Imagine places where humans and robots team up to solve the mysteries of the universe. And this isn't just a daydream. NASA is working with companies and countries all over the world to make this happen. They're creating a whole new kind of robot, the kind that works at the human level. It's a combination of our clever ideas and the accuracy of robots, and it could change our role in space completely. But what about Valkyrie right here on Earth? Every test, every experiment, every piece of information gathered is part of a bigger story. Helping Valkyrie grow and learn on Earth is building a whole world of knowledge. This isn't just good for Valkyrie. It's huge for the future of all space robots and automation. We're not just making a robot. We're shaping how humans and robots will work together in the craziest places you can think of. The software being developed for Valkyrie right now is just the start. It's setting the stage for new, even more amazing robot technology. And get this, NASA and Woodside are planning to show off what they've done in 2026-2027. But this isn't just a regular tech show. They're going to prove how Valkyrie can handle some of the toughest, most remote places you can imagine. As we finish up our video about Valkyrie, just remember, this is only the start. The journey to the moon, Mars, and even farther is a long one, full of hurdles. But with robots like Valkyrie and the ones that'll come after it, we've got what it takes to face these challenges. The future of space exploration is really exciting. We're talking about a time when humans and robots will explore new worlds together, step by step. I hope this talk has sparked your interest and opened up your mind to new possibilities. Got any questions or want to share your thoughts? Feel free to drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. It's the best way to keep up with all our regular informative videos. Thanks a ton for hanging out with us today. We hope you're walking away with your imagination buzzing and feeling super inspired. Keep aiming high and good luck with all your adventures. Until we meet again, stay curious, stay excited, and keep on exploring. And do let us know if there is any topic you want us to cover. And also share any suggestions you have for us related to anything. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.